Bim, guess what? Doing a live stream and we're going to have a look at Game Pass games. But before that, let's have a chat about what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we've got a guest Exor Titan, hopefully, and we are going to uh, discuss live, live, the um, gaming thing. Oops. The Microsoft are doing tomorrow at 5 p.m. UK time. Um, so don't forget to get involved with that if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. You can always watch it on repeat. I've just spilled the drink everywhere. Oh. So that's the plan for tomorrow. The plan for tonight is uh, see if I can find a game that I want to play on the Xbox. I've downloaded a few. Um, so we'll have a quick blast and just see what there is. Also predict, I think I've said this before on here, but I'm also predicting that Microsoft will announce tomorrow that the Series X will be available um, by subscription. Um, so you pay an amount a month for so many months and you get the Xbox uh, Series X and uh, Game Pass uh, and Live all combined, like a mobile phone. So you heard it here second because I've said it before now. This is frozen solid. It has managed to leak everywhere as well. They're really annoying. Anyway, don't forget, join in the conversation. Um, you're down here, so I can, down there, so I can see what you say. Oh, well, I won't see how many funny faces you can pull. Mm. Now, they keep telling us it's all about the games tomorrow, so we'll have to wait and see. I know Exo is beside himself with excitement, because uh, there's a new Halo thing going on. So we'll uh, wait and see what um what's going on there sorry i'm just reading tweets there um so how do kieran uh so yeah we're gonna go and have a look at what games i've downloaded and see if there's out um i want to play how do i do this oh yeah <laughs> no Dun, dun. Pardon me, oh, with the pops. I'll press that. Lift that up, put that over there somewhere. And then I shall press that and that. And then all of a sudden, we'll be on. Howdy, HJ Copeland 31. Hope you're good. So yeah, like I said, we're, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing um, a reaction. I've done it before. I've done loads of reaction videos to stuff, usually E3. Uh, and then I did one for the Xbox reveal, the Sony PlayStation 5 reveal. But this time I'm doing it, all being well, if it all comes together with uh, XO. Um, excellent, and I have no idea. Right then, let's see what I've got, because I can't remember. So we'll look and see what's going on on um, Mixer. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Bit annoying. <laughs> Obviously, I knew it had gone. Ha, <laughs> Right, so we've got 60 games installed, 11 Lem Memories, stuff I'll see that in a minute. Another World Batman, Batman, uh, what's that one? Batman Telltale series. Batman, uh, Warzone, Bridge Constructor, 
Dirt Rally, Delivers the Moon, Daisy, uh, Fractured Minds. Hmm. It's the highlight at the minute. I've played a lot of GTA in the past, so uh, I won't be playing that today. Uh, but if you want to watch me play GTA badly, there's a whole playlist of hours and hours and hours of me playing with uh, various people online. And I mean hours and hours and hours. Um, night call. Hi, XO. Hope you're well. Got any ideas what could ever go on? Just leave that there for next sort of peruse. Um, it's a Daisy. I'm not playing Daisy. What's that portal one? It's um, bridge constructor basically, but using the portal thing again. Playlists. Uh, actually, have I done a portal playlist? I'm not so sure now. It starts off dead easy. Got to get that big, make a bridge. Then eventually, it's like all over the screen, things flying around, using portals, uh, bridges collapsing. I could play uh, Battlefield 1. Crash Team Racing. I don't even know that's on there because I don't own it. Yeah. That's what confused me. I think I brought the disco, but I never played it. Get rid of that. Uh. Oh. So an invite EXO. Bearing in mind I've not played it forever. Do I have it? That's the next question. Because I don't know how it's on here because I don't have the disc. Unless it's ridiculously cheap once. Oh, you only have five. <sighs> Good evening, Mr. Gasax. So if you've just joined us, you have to get home early tomorrow, because 5 p.m., myself and Exotitan, or Exotitan and myself, are going to be getting reaction, giving reaction to the um, launch, well, not the launch, but the show that Microsoft are doing, which is all about the games. So we are monumentally excited. I'll look at this, see what this is like. That's not a good start. So yeah, get your friends as well involved. We can have a chat on here. So if you want to watch the uh, Microsoft uh, Series X thing, then give us a um, I played Little Nightmares and it's like it's No, no, not Bug Naps Island. Um, this is very loud to me. Is this loud to you? Can you actually hear me over the music? Yeah, it's 
the notebook. This is six weeks now. Get loud. Well, I'm loud, or the music's loud. So we need to get this sorted for tomorrow. shirt this it's actually got um high vis reflector stuff on it i've no idea why uh lord's better better too quiet now i'll turn it up a little bit then is that better okay then so we've got it sorted Burp snacks. Uh. Yeah, that's because yeah, we do it differently now, don't we? Just right, yes. Burp snacks, excellent. Right, so that's ready for tomorrow. Because I did, I never watched back my stuff. Because, uh, well, I don't like listening to myself because I waffle on a lot, like I'm doing now. And um, uh, so, uh oh, I think Exo might be here. <sighs> the music's still very loud for me. Uh, my usual, which is um, skinny lager. Shouts in lager, 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 lager. Shouts in. Still loud. So yeah, it's uh, skinny lager. It's gluten free. I've got to sneeze. fever. Play Halo 5 Guardians. I haven't got Halo 5 Guardians. I have to install it. no sound effects in the room oh took the picture off the wall okay I'll put it back up again a little bit bad now mum's gonna kill me can we do the Got the room. Let's look at the wardrobe. We're about to be naked. Oh. Okay.
Brilliant. Oh. God's sake. What? Ah! The key wasn't there before. Are there going to be keys everywhere now? Found seven wrong keys. I found more than seven. weird. Lights on the floor but it's still shining there. Oh, there's a key there. Right. Wrong key. I'm trying to find all the wrong keys because I know where the right key is now. So it's got to be that one, isn't it? Right key. <laughs> get with some pen in the house. Um, will I get a PS5 at launch? I don't know. At the moment, if I'm looking for uh, a console, the only one that's really got my interest is the Xbox for the reasons I mentioned earlier. No, I, I, I just thought I'd do that save time. Yeah, we can't set that one off. Okay, open a present, okay. What's that? Wear the blindfold. All right, okay. to make the donkey tail first. What? It's a crap birthday this, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, we found the pin. Right, okay. Well, that's, that's quite clever, actually, because I was thinking, how the hell am I going to... I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. There we go. Let's 
opened the way up. It's all gone to uh, poop. Get up with the main present now, please. Oh, for God's sake. Right, now can I open the pre- Key! Yay! Distracts me. The hell was that then? I can't remember, to be fair, what game I'm playing. So what? Oh, Alright, okay. The door handle is on the wrong side. Okay. It's a bit creepy. Ah. What? But now we side the snow globe. Obviously we side the snow globe. Why are we so small? Disappointed I'm not leaving footprints, but hey ho. Okay, so I'm inside the room I was in before. For the Lord. So I didn't see that door because I come in that way. Whoa, hang on a minute. Were they pointing at the door?
getting cold worse. That means nothing to me. Can't go any further. Okay. Ah. Oh, for God's sake. So to unlock them, I need the eye, the arrows, and I'll call it the Wolfenstein. There's Wolfenstein. So I need the eyes first, then the arrows, then the Wolfenstein. There's the eye. Right, now the arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Arrows and then the Wolfenstein logo thing, not that one. There you This has turned into Numa now. Oh. Don't tell me that I get 100G for that as well, because that'd be nine. No. Chapter 5. Sinking. Right, we're underwater. Don't go into the red lights. Alright, oh, okay. channel. The remote needs two batteries. I told you not to touch the red lights. Brilliant. Oh no! That red light come from nowhere then. You must really like those lights. Yes, I do. Is that 
that battery. So I've got to renew the battery around here as I wouldn't have thought. Is there. No, 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 no. Right, no, I can't see anything there either. It's a password, we can't have the password because we've not changed the channel yet. I assume we get the password when we change the channel. see that before. Is that a battery? No. That's a battery. Get, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. <sighs> right. Change channel. complicated OB34 
It's because of the, these things are going up and down, and um, that one's not anymore. That one's not anymore, and that one's not anymore. So I assume that one still is. No, it's not. Right. So. All right. No idea what's just happened. Have I just got a thousand G for that? Living life somewhere else in your mind is nothing more than being a prisoner where you are. Well, it's about mental health. Achievement for getting the right key straight away. his nose just because I can I can't oh it'll only pet you later on I've got 8 out of 10 
Oh, it's four now. It was only three before. So cross, I, arrows, Wolfenstein. Cross. Uh, I. Where was the I? I. Um. Arrow. And then Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, there we are. I have not seen me, so one that isn't on the... I don't understand you've not seen me. I thought the cars are supposed to stop when you're on the crossing. Alright, same again. So, arrow. I. Oh! It's got nothing on it. I'm getting very confused. Oh, there was four before as well. All right, I must have pressed one then before I found the the menu thing then. Right, so now we want Wolfenstein. Alright, no 
Let's open it. Oh! There we go. I didn't realise before we were going into the water. So we're actually underwater now, yeah. I thought we were in space, I'll be honest. Right, so go into the red light. because I wasn't looking. So we're here. We've got to go out. He appears. Oh, he, he, that's the plug. I thought it was a... Bottomed it. <laughs> Could that have come from nowhere to be number one? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right then. to play that again but it's good fun that's what you call a short and simple game isn't it game ever was it Is so still there? Is he gone? I think he's gone. But no, that was an uh, interesting game, that.
Night Call, wearing gay Paris in black and white. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Grab me already. Play some random schnizzle here. Choose the investigation, the judge, the angel of death, the sandman, surprise investigation, ransom investigation. The victims may feel random at first, but there's a connection. Yet the motives might be hard to find. Dark and twisted case. Random victims, unknown motive, weird case, slightly more difficult than the others. Victims have all something in common, but the motive, but, and the motive seem clear. Which suspect could have done it? Balasquez, yeah, it's perfect for a first run. Uh, money be easy to get by. What? The investigation will be. Easy, every action will take less time for a chiller experience. Yeah, man, I'm chilled. Or, the way that call was designed. Oh. Very noir, isn't it? Noir. Um, if when I start streams again, it doesn't really work. So, See the victim. Just joined us. Uh, we're just playing on the Xbox Game Pass games, random games. Second one is Night Call. Uh, reminder that tomorrow at five UK time we are doing a live um, reaction to the uh, Microsoft uh, Series X stream. So join us for that here. So can you hear me, or do I need to speak up? Uh, you're fine. She takes a deep breath. <sighs> Sir, you just spent two weeks in a comma. The word bounces around your head. The, the? You need a moment to understand its meaning. Comma. The word scratches along your throat. Yes, you are the victim of an assault. The word resonates in your head. Victim. You are aware a serial killer is currently on the loose in Paris. <laughs> you feel the contents of your stomach crawling up your throat. That's called acid reflux, isn't it? I don't know. The judge, uh, as the police call the killer, assaulted you. The bullet touched your liver, and in most circumstances, it would have been fatal. But because you drink five bottles of wine, like a good Parisian, your liver was fine. We chose to put you in an induced. Her voice becomes most distant and fades. You taste bile at the back of your mouth. Your head is burning. You hear a whistle in one ear. Your kettle's done. Your fingers move 
to your wound underneath the bandages you can feel hard skin it's incredibly painful did they I'm sorry did they catch the judge no what about my passenger what about the cops what about my no I don't care about the passenger I'll, I'll say nothing the doctor is silent for a second, a very awkward second. She hesitates. The, the police would like to see you as soon as possible to ask you some questions. After all, you're the only one who has survived. The judge. Nose in the hallway attracts your attention. You try to turn your head to no avail. You'll need to rest. I've turned into a low low. She leaves the room. Her voice resonates in the hallway. I don't care. He's the only witness. He's. Another female voice joins in. A strong authoritarian voice. You can't clearly make up what she's saying. Make out what she's saying. A strange feeling washes over you. Is it me or is there a cow stood up there? Yeah, I don't know which way you're pointing. The cow stood up there holding the bag. Or is that just me? You know, like the uh, um, bear on the Toblerone. It's not pain, not fatigue. Some odd combinations of the two, you drunk. Before being in this hospital room, you never realised that anger was made up of a combination of pain and exhaustion. Anger. A feeling you know all too well, because you've bought IKEA furniture in the past. Days go by, and a month later. Night one. What? Let's go by a month later, it's night one. Well, look, I've got a bit of a problem. A real problem, that is. You have a pounding headache. It's your first night beyond the wheel since the attack. Since, since the attack. Are you listening to me? You catch your boss's eye in the rear view mirror. Ye. He stares at you for a second without speaking. Sometimes I wonder what goes on inside your head. You always seem so far away, like when you're in hospital for a month. Uh, sorry. I just want things to get back to normal, to clean my head, to stop thinking about it all. He's watching you closely, trying to make out what is going on in your head. You know, I am worried about you, don't you? I know. You're like a thumb to me. You know. Ooh, creepy boss. I know. And you know he's about to tell you the story of his taxi fleet. Again. When my father died and left me in the store, I could have sold it. I could have retired and gone back to the old country. Let him go on. But I decided to start a cab fleet with the money he left me to hire the guys from the neighbourhood. And that's why I've got 45 guys like you working for me. His hands flutter in the air. Though none of them are any match for you. He smiles. His voice suddenly takes on a serious note. Do you want me to go over everything again? He points at the equipment on the dashboard, the meter, the GPS. You haven't been in a taxi for weeks. Oh no, you haven't been in a... No, you haven't been in a taxi for weeks. Maybe you do need a little refresher. Yeah, good, yeah, good idea. Right then. Well, first the map. You spot a potential customer and try to guess where they'll be going. Then you decide. When a customer orders a taxi, if there's no one else around, you have to go pick them up. He shrugs. 
That's the way it goes. It's business. No problem. The other fairs, you look at the map and decide whether it's going out, so if you want to take them, and then... You drive! He flushes at you. No, no. He flushes a quick, mechanical smile. You know it well. When he talks about work, he talks about work. That's all. When your shift is over, we'll do the numbers and... You can come right... His voice trails off, searching for the right word. Come right to my place. And that's all. That, and that's all. Pretty. It's pretty simple. There's no reason why you can't do it. All right. No overtime. We're in France here, and these rules and regulations. You might not see it that way, but no one likes having a driver who hasn't slept for 24 hours. He looks away. Something's been bothering him since he got into the cab. You didn't tidy that shit up off the ground before you got attacked, did you? It's still on the floor. Oh no. Anyway, you know the ropes. You get it. You know you're going to do a good job. Where is the matter? Your boss keeps quiet for a while. So if he's hesitant to speak, and then... I don't think it's a good idea. You shouldn't be driving. The murderer is still out there, and we think he's going to come back. For you. He does not know who I am. He could have seen your face. The police are positive. He did not. He attacked from behind. I fell to the ground. And then he took off my clothes. Silence. Your eyes look. He holds your gaze. He wants to believe you. Be on your side. He looks away. Anyway, I'll let you back to work. Every minute spent in your taxi is a minute lost, unless you're working, of course. In which case, every minute in your taxi is a minute that you're earning. He gives you a smile. Half ironic, half serious. You can count on me. He scratches at an invisible stain on the armrest. He's got one of them UV lights, it's not invisible to him. Yeah, no, that's the problem. He smiles. Your boss opens the door and exit the cab. You watch him cross the street and enter the fleet garage. A couple of colleagues are milling about. Taxes are coming and going. They all ignore you, consciously or unconsciously. You are... Branded, huh? You sit there a moment, then you turn the key in the ignition. The hum of the engine sends a tingle down your spine. <laughs> I used to get that when I used to sit on the back of a bus. Well, it wasn't down my spine. It's impossible to describe how you miss that feeling. I've not been on a bus for years, to be fair. It's back to the night shift. Back to life, back to, oh, despite the attack, despite it all, back to reality. Oh. Set that. The door opens and your passenger collapses into the back seat. His eyes are hidden behind a pair of large, dark glasses. His clothes reek of sweat and boots. He's a clubber. His baton that he battered, that he clubbed the seals with, is rested next to him. On the seat. Don't you get blood on my uh, back seat there, mate? He mumbles his destination and you start driving. That's a nice effect, actually. A few words are exchanged. The weather, taxes, traffic. Do I want to buy a seal cup pelt? Then you can tell it's coming. The inevitable conversation about 
the killer. Cause this is killer. Sometimes it's of information, rumors, things overheard. You make a mental note of what you heard. Who knows? It might come in and it. Your mind wanders. Your eyes vaguely scan the store windows. The sodium light coming off the street lamps feel like it's dripping into your brain. You're falling asleep. You need a bit of music to keep you awake. You glance at your passenger. Do you mind if I put a little music on? He waves his hand as if to say, Who cares? Oh, or hello to people outside. You turn the radio on, pressing on the dial to find a station you like. Eight is rock ballads. Too soft. We like it hard. Behind you, the passenger is snoring. Barely. But you can hear him. It's a, a, a anal classical music. Sounds like the orchestra is badly tuned. Right, not tonight, Josephine. Two journalists discussing new evidence in the investigation into the judge's murders. The information they share, saloon talk, nothing more. Seems important, nonetheless. Ah, I had interrupts a torrent of words, and you change the station. Classical music again. The flute grates in your ears. Don't put it in your ears, supposed to blow on it. Electronic music. You like the rhythm, but you are not in the mood. Stop! You lift your hand from the dial. The music plays on. Not bad. Turn it up so I can hear better. I did not want to make you. His voice sounds like it's coming from a deep cavern. I was not sleeping, uh, just uh, sobering up. He leans forward. Not bad at all. You hear the touch of an accent. Probably an American, no, he's French but someone who's lived most of his life in France. Ah. Leave it on until they say the musician's name. The music continues. There's something turning in the background. A persistent melody that gets higher and higher. It's a living thing. It's an incredible thing to lose. Your client mumbles. I bet. The song is coming to an end and the announcer, in a piercing, fogger voice, throws out the name of a DJ you've never heard of. DJ Blunt. <laughs> I knew it. You like his stuff? Yeah, he's a good product. He's pretty conventionally structured, but it's super popular. He snickers. Is he hungry? Still. Commodores. I taught that dude everything I know. Everything. In 94, at a party at the Rex Club, there was this kid who started buying me rounds. He waves his hand around. It's all he's been doing, waving his hand around. A kid no older than 17. I thought he was hitting on me. He <laughs> chuckles. He wouldn't have been disappointed. He shakes his head. No, he wanted me to teach him how to spin. I told him, no, but you can watch. And that's exactly what he did every week until we moved in together. He sold ecstasy to pay his way in. He brings the Snickers. And now, he's on the radio. Silence for the caps. Waited silence. You can tell your passenger's mind spinning. You know, 
what he did this summer. He was the opener for the soccer championship at Stade de France. It was Scrooge. Wonder what would people would think if he knew he was selling drugs at 17. He lowers his voice a bit. If they only knew. Your passenger clams up. Keep an eye on the road we're driving. You notice a woman crossing the street at the crosswalk. She speeds up as she walks by two men talking loudly. We ran into each other in Ibiza four or five years ago. You almost jump at the sound of his voice. I was spinning in this little club. Yeah, really little, but it was something. He talked like Normie, of course. Even with these dark glasses, you can see how angry he is. DJ, mother. He suddenly starts waving his arms around. He rummages through his pockets as he says, Huh, your radio. Can it take a flash drive? You glance at the radio. You don't really know what he's talking about. Uh, no, only CDs. Ah, uh, no, it is. He lays his phone in the space between the two front seats. Listen to this. This is what I play tonight. It's mine. He sets his phone to play. But, you know. People were barely dancing. A drum machine playing hard, edged beat in the background. They were talking, talking each other's pictures. Four notes start the dance in the cab. Starts in the cab. They barely touch, never kiss anymore. That's coronavirus, mate. A perfect dance beat becomes progressively audible. Oh, that. A pure electronic crescendo plays is over. There's a break in the music. Synthesized strings calm the song down without slowing it down. At least the song is getting intense again. Explodes as your passenger drifts off. I got the people dancing. The song keeps going for another minute. Then stops. Your passenger does not perch. You drive to the rhythm of his snoring. The sound fills the cab. Ideas are bouncing through your head like they do every time you find yourself alone. This guy in the back seat is too old to be young. You look at your own hands. They look like they're suddenly aging in time lapse. Another feeling. You close your eyes a second. Only a second. And when you open them, you've reached your destination and have pulled over to the sidewalk. You tap your passenger's knee and he wakes up with a start. <laughs> yeah. We're here, sir. Ah, yes. Great. He rummages through his pockets and has you a few rumpled bills for the fare. Thanks. I hope you liked it. Silence. The music, I mean. My music. The song I played you. It. I should have been in the spotlight, you see. Fifteen minutes of fun. Just a minute off. He stops the poop. You hear him mumble as he leaves the taxi. Those whiskey orangutans really screw with my system. You see him stagger towards the building. It takes several tries to get the door open. He finally disappears inside. You leave. You heave a long sigh. Okay, come on. Yeah, Jack and Ari. Well. Let's get someone who we can't see the face of. And if that's rubbish, we're going. I need her to get out of here. Yeah, we'll get him. He pulled up next to a sidewalk a few metres from an abandoned warehouse. No sign of your passenger. You wait a minute, staring at the meter. You really don't feel like wasting your time on people who... 
You hear a window break on the second floor of the warehouse. A body falls heavily to the sidewalk. You lay your hands on the door handle when a man dressed entirely in black jumps out of the window and lands on the body. He stands up and takes a few steps over to your cab. Are you the cab I ordered? You nod your head very, very slowly. Super, I'm the one you're waiting for. Be right there. He turns around, places his finger on the neck of the inanimate body. Takes his pulse. He comes back over under the door and jumps into the back seat. You can start driving. New really, please. You follow orders without a second thought. And back, your in back, your passenger smells like sweat and gunpowder. He's been running, been in a fight maybe. Probably. His muscles bulge in rhythm with his heart, which is racing. Uh, good evening. Pretty good, yeah. He smiles, or tries to. You see blood on his otherwise impeccably white teeth. I screwed up a little, but all in all, it was a good evening. You? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, come on. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. You're on to me, and you know I'm the mass joker. Silence, you squids get a closer look at your passenger. The mass joker, the hero that makes prison nights more peaceful. No? You saw it surely, surely shake your head. No? Doesn't ring your bell? I'm all over Twitter, so probably on the radio, and in the newspapers, I think. The Mass Joker? Yes, the Mass Joker. I think it sounds good. You bat the inside of your cheek. I did that when I woke up one morning. It hurt like hell. See, I wanted something that wasn't too... He searches for the right word, beats around the bush, and eventually comes out with... Problematic. I needed a lot of brainstorming and came up with the Mass Joker. I haven't gotten great feedback but it's hard these days to find a name everyone likes. You have to make sacrifices if you want your core business to succeed. That's what they tell you at school anyway. At school? Yeah, and ink. He freezes. Shit, I must give you the name of my business school. What an idiot. Can you imagine if Bruce Wayne went around telling everyone he was Bruce Wayne? Yeah, we'll say nothing on that one. No, Batman. If Batman went around telling everyone he was Bruce Wayne. No. I'm getting all mixed up. He touches his side. His side for a while. Like he's looking for a wound. You're getting close to your destination. I think I'm hurt. You're going to be alright? No, no, I'm fine. I shouldn't have jumped out of the window like that. But you were already coming down the street and I didn't want to make you wait. You smile. Pull over right here in front of the driveway. You obey. Don't worry, it's just a flash room. I'll be home in two minutes. I have everything I need to take care of myself. He pays and struggles to get out the cab. One last thing, please don't say anything about TNK. I'm trying to lead a double life and it's not super easy. Nod your head mysteriously. Perfect, I hope to. He doubles over in a coffin spell. See you again sometime. Take good care of yourself. I'll be much better soon, no worries. He looks at you for a minute. You're a really classy guy. He walks away, limping. You watch him as he tries several times to enter his building code before heading inside. Finally. As you go to start the engine, you notice a flu, a few drops of blood on your fingers from the bills your passenger handed you. The door suddenly opens and a woman gets into the back seat.
Having a good night? For a second you freeze. It's one of the cops working on the judge's case. She grins at her. Her voice creaks. You remember seeing her at the hospital. Something I really bothered about her there. You know, it's actually pretty crazy. For weeks I've been saying... Oh. You know, it's actually pretty crazy. For weeks I've been saying to myself, there's something off about you. Something not so nice. I dug around, pulled it over. Bugged off all my fellow cops about it because I was sure you lied to us. Oh. She could, uh, she could have avoided this now. Hello, Callum Sweeney. We're playing a rubbish game, I'll be honest. That was no, um, whatever the last game was, was it? What game is this? It's called Night Call, and, uh, the dialogue in it is, uh, well, I think they got a really crap actor to do the voicing because it sounded like the same person doing really crap accents. Uh, and it was quite slow and boring. It might be good if you get into it. It's, a, it's like a a cheap version of Le Noir. Um, interesting concept. I like the, the fact that you, I don't know, I like the style of it. I just didn't like the actual thing. Uh, what a bit. <sighs> oh look, Warner Brother games sale. Save up to 70%. Hmm. Was that because Microsoft have bought Warner Brothers and they're going to announce it tomorrow on our live broadcast? That'd be nice of them, wouldn't it? All these games 70% off. Because we've bought the company. They'll all be on Game Pass if they have. Everything is awesome. Everything is go cool when you're part of a team. Mad Max. Mm -hmm. Look at all the movies as well. Two movie collection for seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, off. This is why we don't want to go digital. The Dark Knight Trilogy Free Film Collection, 1999. You don't get the discs. You want to be shopping by them for like a quid each. And keep them forever. To be fair, there's nothing on Warner Brothers games that I'm even remotely interested in, I'll be honest. I didn't realise they'd really done that many. Oh, it's all rubbish. Everything is a thumb. Play golf with your friends, that's cruel. You chop the legs off to use them as a club. Right, I think it's probably fair to say I'm unlikely to go back to night call, so I'm going to delete it. Um, mainly because I might forget that I've already played it. Whenever I delete it, I know I've played it, don't I? So. Oh, moving out. We've got moving out on Game Pass. Exo was on about that. So it's a good multiplayer game. We go on Game Pass. Grounded. Pre-install. Uh, to play on day one. What's grounded? Oh, is that that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Sniper Elite 4. Totally accurate battle simulator. Most popular in Minecraft, obviously. Uh, show on. Ugh. 
That's a good part. Yeah, Fable 2 is on the. Uh, yeah. uh, Ryzen 4, I've already got. Gears of War 5, I'll not have you given me for free. So I have a watch on here. Not a watch, I've cooked. Yeah, I've cooked too. I've already downloaded it. Have I? Because that's a good game to play. Rage 2. Rage hard. Doing it right. Doing it right. You. Yep. Uh, Jesus. You have that many games. And I have loads of space left. Jesus, you have that many games. And I have loads of space left. You have loads of space left. Yeah, I've got a two terabyte um, extension. And these are not all my games. These are... Uh, Game Pass games. Unless you type that when I was in my games. Because I've just realised you can't see. <laughs> yeah, ignore that. He's got a ticket to ride. He's got a ticket to ride. And I don't give a... <sighs> Wasteland 3. Never played any Wasteland. Mm. Oh my god, the Halo Infinite trailer leaked early! Uh. He can't help himself. He gets too excited too quickly. Hey! Certified? How are you? Well, you got a Bitcoin as a logo. So that could be... Not good. Anyway. Oh, well, the wolf has started to go up here, won't they? Ugh. Forager. Neon Abyss. Well, this has been added recently. Well, it's not that recent. If Night Call's one of them. Hmm. Observation. To be fair, it's, uh, yeah, it's one o'clock, so I'm going to leave it there for now. As soon as I've got work in the morning. That is my ear a joke. I do. I, I does have work in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. You don't want to remember a thing. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. In the body, it's gonna be alright. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you, certified. Uh, Callum, Sweeney, Toff, Kieran, uh, John, uh, PS4 Ledge, uh, Waffle Jester. Hey Jake Oakland, XO. Yep. Uh, how long was that on for? One hour and thirty-two minutes. Good God, I didn't realize I've been on that long. Tomorrow at five, we're back tomorrow at five. Although to be fair, 
uh, if people haven't seen this live, uh, they won't see it until after tomorrow at five because it always takes ages for it to upload when I do a live stream and I have no idea why. It's uh, slightly annoying, but there's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. So anyway, thank you for watching, if indeed you still are, and I will hopefully see you with XO as well, who's going to be here, all being well, uh, tomorrow. So until then.